Welcome back to my channel on linguistics and language learning. In this video, I'm, go I'm talking about the analysis of a noun phrase with multiple adjectives using a tree diagram. Now, first of all, we need to answer two questions related to this topic. The first question is, is it possible to have more than one adjective in a noun phrase? And the answer is yes. This question has already been asked by some of my viewers related to the possibility of using more than one adjective in one NP. And here you are. I can tell you clearly that it is always possible to have more than one adjective in a noun phrase. We don't need to divide a noun phrase into another noun phrase as long as we have only one core for that noun phrase. Now, our answer yes to this question is followed by the other question. How many phrases are there in a small old round brown American frame? Based on my explanation just now, of course, we're going to answer that there is exactly only one phrase in a small old round brown American frame. Why I said so? Because this phrase has only one core that is a frame, that is frame. Now, let's analyze this noun phrase using a tree diagram. Okay, let's analyze an NP, a small all round brown American frame. Before we analyze using a tree diagram, we should have the NP structure rule. Why? Because it will be much easier for us to draw a tree diagram if we know the NP structure rule for the phrase that we are going to analyze. So we have here NP, which is composed of some adjectives. And you see here that the NP is long. It consists of many words as the constituent of the phrase. So we have determiner and then adjective, 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 adjective. So we have here five adjectives. And the last one is a noun, which is the core of the phrase. Now, when we draw a tree diagram, we immediately branch the NP into seven branches. So we have here seven branches. Why? Because we have seven constituents of the NP. The first one is determiner. And determiner here is represented by article. Why is it article? Because we have the word er uh in the first constituent of the phrase. And then we have here five adjectives. So we draw here five adjectives. And then the last constituent of the phrase is a noun. So as you can see here, that we don't need to divide this NP into another NP, even though it consists of many words as the constituents. Now, when we have these constituents, it will be easy for us to finish or to complete this diagram. We just put the words for each of the constituents. So we have here a uh, for the article, and we have small for the first adjective. We have old for the second adjective. And for the third adjective, we have round. For the fourth adjective, we have brown. And the last adjective, we have American. And to complete this analysis, we have here the core of the phrase, which is represented by the word frame. Now, you can see that we already complete drawing the tree diagram for the long NP a small or brown, brown American thing. So, um, this analysis clearly shows you that 
it is always possible to have more than one adjective for one noun phrase. I hope that you can understand this and you can apply okay, this phrase structure, especially the one applicable for NP to other NPs. See you in the next video.